Okay, another beautiful day in paradise. Um, I got a question from one of the viewers about uh, when they're in a dry fast, why is it when they stop drinking water, they, they're still peeing a quart of water every day of the dry fast? And I you know, wrote back and I said, well, check your weight, because if you're losing weight, yeah, that's where the water's coming from. Um, when your fat breaks down during a dry fast, and that's one of the beautiful things about a dry fast, your body goes into a starvation mode after two days, it seeks new food, it taps fat. Fat breaks down into glycerol to make plasma glucose in the liver and free fatty acids to make energy, ATP, and that produces water. You to make tons and tons of water in the cells themselves. And that water gets cycled through the cells and into the system and comes out in the urine. So what you're doing is you're converting fat to water, and energy and sugar and that stuff. So. The answer is you're able to maintain urine output because you are tapping your fat cells during a dry fast. It's one of the best things about it. You know, it works because once you go into a dry fast, there's receptors in the hypothalamus that instruct the pituitary to release hormones that activate the kidneys to activate another hormone that ends up tapping your fat cells. So all that fat disappears. Good weight loss, good thing but it allows you to maintain water inside the cells during the dry fast, which you need, because you still need water for metabolism and to clean things out. It goes out of the cell, into the extracellular matrix, into the lymphatic system, and out into the urine and bowel. So that's why you still pee a quart every day on a soft dry fast. Pretty simple, really. Yes? We have a message. Can you remind people to subscribe, please, sir? What now? Please. Oh, very well.